All right, guys, Rooster in Tennessee here. Going to be looking at a big amp today. Uh, dual 3CX, 3000, two tubes. Plate voltage is 6,000 volts. Amps, we'll get to that in a second. Of course, this is a two-piece amp. Got your plate and load tuners up here. Input tuned down here. We've already maxed everything out for a maximum output. Got a filament or a deck switch over here, and then the other switch to uh, remote turn your power supply on. The power supply for it is this uh, monster sitting right here, seven and a quarter amps, 7.25 amps, continuous at, as you can see, 6,000 volts, just under 6,000 volts. The uh, spec on a 3CX3000 for maximum output ratings, you can look at the spec sheet, calls for uh, two and a half amps. I believe at, uh, I know two and a half amps, I think it's 5,500 volts or something like that. Um, but anyway, this definitely is enough to carry the two tubes and really uh, for most people enough to carry three tubes. Now, the video I'm going to do today, we're going to show you maximum output numbers on this thing. Uh, this is not going to be a video to show typical operation, though you can run it like this. A lot of people run them this hard or run them a lot harder. Um, that'll be up for whoever, whoever gets it. They can run it however they want. But uh, we're going to be putting some strain on it here. and. Uh, we want to show you that this power supply is fully capable of doing what I'm telling you it'll do. Now, when I say 7.25 amps continuous, that means you can key that much and draw that much every key down, uh, and it'll peak out way beyond that, um, you know, as far as the surge capabilities of it. But uh, anyway, we'll get into it here. We're going to be driving. This is a 224 CX800. Now, we're not running that on high, we're running it on low. And just to give you an idea of what we're putting into it. This is a 25,000 watt slug. That first big hash mark is 2,500, and we're about half of that, maybe a little less. So about 1,000 to 1,100 watts is what we're putting into this thing. Um, again, this is gonna be a maximum output test. No one saying to run this like this, every key down or whatever, but a lot of people out there like to see the maximum output an amp will do before they get it. And uh, remember what I told you, two and a half amps is the uh, suggested current draw for a 3.6, 3,000. We're running two of them in this. So with that being said, uh, we don't have our peak kit on. The 25KW slug is in the line section on the back of the amp. And the amp will come with the line section on the back of it. Uh, what you see is what you get. You know, uh, the, the deck, the power supply, and the line section that's on the back. So uh, the tubes in it are still under warranty. Um, both tubes are still under warranty. I mean, the amp's basically like brand new. Um, people that don't like to put a down payment and wait for somebody to build something, and you're wanting something that'll get out there and, and put a hammer down, uh, you know, look no further, here it is. So uh, anyway, with that being said, let's do an output test on it. Again, we're gonna be looking at the top scale here, which is 25,000. And we'll go ahead and uh, key this thing down. thousand volts drop six amps and I am speaking into the mic you can watch the meter draw a little bit drawing right at six amps test 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 audio test 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 audio test 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 audio test 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 audio test 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 so keying 25k or so and just backing up just a little bit now, backing up on average power, that doesn't mean that it's backing up on the air. 
Okay, there's a, a bit of a misunderstanding like that. Um, I run mine to where it basically stands straight up and down, maybe backs up a little bit, maybe pulls forward a little bit. But backing up on average power, this box is still going forward a lot on peak. Uh, you know, even if you say peak is roughly two times average power, uh, you're still looking at almost 40 kW or so, you know, give or take out of this thing going forward. So, again, we'll do that one more time. I'll show you. I'm about to step on the pedal down here. Pedal, key to mic. All the way to the right. Six amps of draw. So we're drawing three amps of tube, give or take. Hello? That's one. That's one. That's one. That's one two. 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 What's that? Hold it down, we'll bury the slug. Oh, okay. He says hold it down and we'll bury the slug. So let's bury it out here. It'll keep dirty. Hold it down. All the way to rock. Seven amps. Seven amps of draw. And we're staying on it there. So to those that say that you're tricking the meter, just making it run more power, you saw it for yourself. We went from six amps to seven amps when we buried that slug out. Now again, that's running hard. <clears throat> no one's saying that that's a 24-7 duty cycle, 100% duty cycle. That is absolutely running this amp hard. But like that. Yeah, the transform will handle it, like you said. Uh, transform will handle it, no problem. But, I mean, that's running pretty hard on these tubes. But a 3000 is tough as nails. And there's guys that run them that hard or run them a lot harder. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a maximum output test video for people that want to see what this amp is capable of. And, uh, you know, I, I put, it my, put my money where my mouth is. Uh, to me, this 3000, this pair of 3000s, and this power supply is probably the baddest two tube 3000 in the country. And I don't hesitate saying that a bit. Uh, blower is on the inside of it. Um, he's got it ventilated out here. Everything is super nice in it. Uh, exactly. yeah. Yep, tuners to handle 15,000. Uh, vacuum relay. It's just the overbuilt amp, and that's why you're seeing the output numbers out of it that we're showing here. Now, uh, not a gouge or a jab, but anybody else that builds amps out there, but I'm just going to tell you guys, a lot of these people building these 3000s, they're getting 5,000 watts average out per tube or so. They're using amp and a half amp transformers. Um, this is a real deal transformer right here. Like I said, seven and one quarters of an amp, so 7.25 amps, 6,000 volts. You saw it draw six amps. You saw it draw seven amps. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it, but uh, I tell you, if I had some extra play money, uh, this video would not be getting done because I'd be buying this amp myself um, to run. But just so happens I just got done paying for my next big amp, so uh, <laughs> the play money's rolling a little bit low right now. But uh, anyway, if you guys are interested in this, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Uh, if you're seriously interested in something like this, um, you know, with a good antenna, you'll automatically become a, a serious contender uh, on any channel that you want to talk on. 6, 28, um, wherever, you know. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you have any questions, anything like that, let me know. And I uh, hope to catch you guys out on the band. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.